Hello guys, today I'd like to show you a pretty cool server. It's called mcdiamondfire.com and it basically allows you to code minigames without using any command blocks. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new plot. I already did that though, so I'm not gonna do it again. And then you wanna join your own plot and here we are. Now I obviously didn't code anything yet, so there is not really a game yet. Um, and the first important thing is that there are three different modes. The first one is call, called mode play. And if you enter the play mode, you will just be put into the game like other players will when they join your plot. The second one is called mode bet. And it basically allows you to put down code blocks and create a mini game. And the third one is called mode build. And this one obviously just allows you to build a nice arena. And Match Cat and the Fox Plush were kind enough to do that for me. So shout out to them. So here we are in the code area. And let's start off by placing one of those player event blocks down. If you right click the sign now, you will get a lot of different options. What I want is the player join game event though. Now, what this means is that every time a player joins, something will be done, which I will put over here. Now, what I wanna achieve is every time the player joins a game, he will be teleported into this little cage right here. How do we do that? So, first of all, we need to get the location where he needs to be teleported. So let's get one of those variable items. Here we have the location. And if we now right click, our current location will be saved. Now, if we head back to the code, we'll place down a player action, put our location in here and select teleport. Now, if we test it, we should be, yeah, perfect. Now, every time a player joins, he will be teleported into this little cage right here. All right, now let's say we wanna give the player a set of items every like three seconds. Uh, first thing we'll have to do is set up a loop. I'm just gonna set it to like 40. Yeah, should be good. Then I'm gonna put down two player action blocks. And in the first one, I'm going to clear his inventory. And in the second one, I'm going to give him a few items. Let's give him a few arrows. Maybe a redstone torch. But this will not work yet. Because the loop hasn't started yet. So every time a player joins, we're going to start the loop again. There we are. Now let's test it. Mode play. And here we are. As you can see, I have a few arrows, torch, and they get refilled every like two seconds. Perfect. All right, now let's give the item some functionality. We'll start off with a player event, select right click. And now every time the player right clicks, this line of code will be activated. But keep in mind that we have two different items, so we'll have to test what the player is holding. Now let's put an arrow in this chest. And now every time the player is right clicking and is holding um, an arrow, whatever is in here will be activated. I'm gonna choose launch projectile. Then I'm going to put an arrow in here, because you could also use X or snowballs, whatever projectile you want. I'm just going to use an arrow for now. And then we need a number for the speed. And the way you get numbers is by selecting the iron ingot, picking one of those slime balls and typing a number in chat. And now, as you can see, it's a seven. Hey, 
You should be a seven. There we go. Now let's put it in here. We could also pick a cool particle effect. Let's make a flame trail. And let's test it. Nice. Isn't that just awesome? Now every time we right click, we will shoot an arrow with a flame trail. I don't like this yet though, because you can pretty much infinitely spam your arrows without running out. So we'll put another play action in here and remove one arrow every time he right clicks. Let's hope it works. Yeah, nice. Now you can't infinitely spam them anymore, which is great. Next up, let's implement some functionality for the redstone torch. Just like last time, we have to test um, what the player is holding. And let's choose another cool player action. Launch upwards, sounds good. Then we need another variable item. Let's, let's pick 10, put it in here. And of course, remove um, the redstone torch. Mode play. Hey, and it works. Isn't that just a great mini game? Unfortunately, there are a few problems with this otherwise perfect game. For example, the players can hit each other in this lobby and they will starve to death eventually because they will lose saturation. So let's fix those two problems by simply constantly setting their food level to 20. Whoops. Enter 20 here. There we go. And then let's test if the player is standing on the lapis blocks and disable PvP and otherwise enable PvP. We'll just enable PvP by default which is right here. Then we'll test if the player is standing on a lapis block and if he is we will disable PvP. So let's test it. Whoops. And it works. I, I can't hit my alt account. And if I now go into the arena, I should be. God oh, damn it. I should be able to. There we go. Now, obviously, this game is not really great. But there's just so, so much you can do and it takes so little effort. Just imagine how big of a pain it would have been to code those directional arrow shots in, in vanilla. It's just crazy. And if, if you buy a rank, you can even get access to crazy things like disguising yourself as another player or mob. It's just, it's just so cool. But to give you a better demonstration of what crazy things you can actually build on this server, let's check out some other plots now. All right, I just joined this plot called Champions FFA, which sounds promising. Okay, I guess those are the classes. Wow, there's... What? How does that even work? This is pure magic. See, see what crazy things you can just make without using any command blocks. This is insane. Flash teleport uh, forwards four blocks. Sounds good. 
Okay. Oh wow. Skill on. Okay, this is a way nicer way to do it than just re re giving the item every five seconds. Props to you, who made this plot. Props to you, Sintis. This is an awesome plot. In case you were wondering how you can visit other plots, let's say we want to check out one of Nether's uh, plots, because he's overlord, he must be a pro. Um, then we just select the search item, press enter, and here we can see everything he has built. Plaything. That sounds nice. Let's check it out. Um, okay. Um, nice plot, I guess. Let's see if if this happens again. Is is that just? A um, yeah. This plot just kept crashing my game, so I'm not gonna check out any one of his plots again because I'm scared. But let's see what this guy has to offer. Tag. Okay, I guess I can't play that alone. Prison. Arc survival. I'm not whitelisted. Sad. Let's check out Pokemon Go. Nice. Okay, I have a Pokeball. What are, what are you doing? Are you okay? Dude, are you okay? This is creepy. But I, I caught it. Nice. Okay. Pokemon card. Okay, I guess this is work in progress still. But perks. Hey, this is actually pretty cool. Like I said, it's work in progress probably. But if he continues, it's probably gonna pretty be pretty great. Okay, let's check out something else. All games. Trivia. Question one. What does the gas scream in real life? Damn, I have no idea. Um, probably a, a dolphin communicating. I don't know. Okay, I, I guess I suck. Then it must be the other one. Nice, okay. What kind of block is this? Chisel stone bricks or uh, chisel stone bricks? Um, I have no idea. I always get it wrong when I try to get the block in creative. I think it's bricks. Yes, I'm a genius. Watch, what's Notch's real name, Marcus? Double S, for sure. I'm so smart. Uh, what was Minecraft's first name? Ahem. Uh, no idea. I guess it was always Minecraft? Ah. Uh, I'm bad. So that should have been a pretty nice demonstration of what you can expect on the server. If you want to check it out, the IP is mcdiamondfire.com. I highly recommend joining. Staff is really friendly, everybody else is pretty helpful. It's a lot of fun playing around with those mechanics. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video.